Hello everyone and welcome back for another review. Uh, this is something a little bit different. Um, being that Action Comics 1000 comes out in just a few days now, um, I thought I would just share with you something, you know, kind of which I think is kind of awesome and neat. Uh, something very dear and close to me, uh, at least to myself. Uh, but I wanted to share it with you. And uh, as you can see before me, I have the uh, recently issued or released Superman the Exile stories and other omnibus, or I mean stories and other omnibus, listen to me, uh, Superman the Exile and other stories omnibus. Now, again, this came out last week, this past week on Wednesday. Um, for those of you who shop in places like Barnes & Noble and other major book retailers, you probably won't find it there until around the 17th. Um, at least that's what Amazon said. So anyway, uh, this is the uh, hardcover story, which contains pretty much everything about Superman in the Exile. Uh, this was a story that was published back in the, uh, the mid-1980s, and um, it lasted at least for the better part of about six months, maybe a year or more. Um, but as you can see, this is a thick book. Um, so this chronicles about at least two to three years, I think, maybe worth of stories, if my chronology is correct here. Um, I have been wanting this forever. Uh, the original Superman in Exile storyline was just pretty basic, and it didn't have too much. Uh, it was just a simple trade paperback um, that had, you know, just usual trade paperback that had the basic core storyline uh, but as you can see doesn't have everything so and it's been long out of print for years um, but now at long last it has finally come out and uh, has everything so but previously uh, this omnibus was supposed to come out last year but uh, I guess they changed their mind at the last minute and they wanted to make sure to get it right, and I can tell you, they did. So let me shut up about the pre-stuff and get right into it. So right off the bat, you'll notice this awesome dust jacket on the cover with artwork by Jerry Ordway, and uh, it just looks fantastic. Look at that. Um, this is actually one of the uh, original Superman covers that was part of the storyline in the 80s, and uh, it's got that awesome glossy feel and it kind of the colors and everything just really kind of pops out um, and you can see he's wearing his breathing apparatus that he uses in the storyline and um, yeah this is probably one of the best Superman tales from the post crisis pre new 52 and for those of you who are curious this story had massive ramifications for the Superman characters and stories uh, for several years to come. And ultimately, the, uh, the events in this book would be referred to and even mentioned and referenced during the famous Superman, uh, the death of Superman story, among other things. So this is very, very important to those of you who are fans of the post-crisis Superman, as I am. But, um, so yeah, moving right along. This omnibus is huge. It's brick, it's like, it weighs a ton almost. Um, on the back, it just has more of a wraparound, which basically is just giving a quick synopsis of the uh, entire story, as well as giving you a breakdown of all of the uh, issues that are included in this uh, massive omnibus here. Um, so yeah, it, from uh, just from the quick glance, it chronicles all of the adventures of Superman, issues 445 through 460, um, Superman's number 23 to 37, Action Comics 643 to 646, and of course the infamous Action Comics annual number 2, uh, which is the issue where Superman faces off with Mongol. So yeah, this is awesome, and uh, let me just show you a little bit about the inside. So the dust jacket, much to my delight, comes off, of course, and reveals this kind of cool image. Um, not as cool as this, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, instead of it being all black, which is what they usually do in some of these cases, 
And uh, on the side, you have the Superman Exile, so that in case you wanted to take the dust jacket off, you would know what you're reading. On the back, it's just pretty much black. So uh, you open it up, and you got this nice little inside cover there, and more of the uh, credits and so forth. And then you get more credits here, and then you get all of the table of contents with all the various issues, all the issue numbers, and all the various stories that are included in here, which is definitely nice if you kind of want to know where to skip or whatnot if you've read this already. Um, so yeah, it just goes right down the line, and then in the back, there's a sketchbook, which I think is kind of cool. And here's a nice little, uh, I guess, introduction by one of my favorite Superman artists, Jerry Ordway. And so he talks about the uh, thought process and, and uh, all the creative ideas and stuff for this massive story. And um, once that concludes, it just jumps right in. So um, also, I just want to point out that this picks up where the John Byrne Man of Steel uh, trade paperbacks left off. Uh, that is, Volume 9 came out a couple of years ago, at least two or three years ago. And then there was a, um, a couple of other trades like the World of Krypton and other et cetera things that came out. Um, but this pretty much picks up as far as the main storylines go, right where that left off. And it goes on for quite a while. And just flipping through the book, you can see how awesome the art looks. Uh, it is, it just looks gorgeous especially after 20, 30 years later. And, um, you know, it's definitely worth it. And uh, you keep going, and it's got all the pre-stuff, his encounters with Brainiac, Gangbuster, and so on. And then, as you can see, um, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And finally, you get to the part where he exiles himself in space, and there's the cover that I mentioned to you earlier. So, and then that story continues on for quite a while, for several months, as evidenced by all these uh, pages in here. The art looks fantastic, uh, far superior, in my opinion, to the coloring and the art that's in the original trade paperback, for comparison. Um, and it's this thing is just awesome and it's massive and uh, it's got everything that's exile related um, and it just continues to go on and on and on and on and on it's a massive story um, that I would highly recommend to anyone reading um, it's probably something that you can bench press or bench read because it's a lot of material in here, a lot of issues in this book, and uh, a lot of gap fillers, and so on and so forth, and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. And um, as you can see, the art looks fantastic. And then once you get to the end of the Exile story itself, it kind of has all the aftermath issues, like, um, let's see. Superman's Return to Earth, and you have the whole Matrix thing there uh, with art by George Perez, which is kind of cool. And then that continues on for a few issues, and then it leads on to the whole Jimmy Olsen thing and the Eradicator and other tales, you know, that were pretty much direct tie-ins to Exile itself. And, you know, and I believe it gets right into... Uh, what would ultimately become the Krypton Man storyline. Uh, so this so this omnibus actually kind of starts from the before Exile, months before Exile, through Exile, after Exile, and continues on for several more months until you get to uh, what will ultimately become the Krypton Man storyline, which in itself is another trade paperback. And... Um, and this is basically the origin of the Eradicator, uh, the origin, uh, a little bit more of his Kryptonian origins, and so on and so forth. Um, and then back here, you see there's like a sketchbook uh, with, the, with the original Superman Exile trade cover. Um, some more sketches, which look awesome. And uh, 
all of this artwork is just fantastic. And um, as far as I know, it's only available in this hardcover. So um, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Um, it will set you back about $125 retail. But if you're fortunate to find it through other means cheaper, I would highly recommend you do so. I was fortunate to get it 40% off at a comic book shop here in Los Angeles. So yeah, just a little quick book, quick little review, excuse me, a quick look at the Superman in Exile and other stories omnibus. Um, please, please go out and pick this up if you're interested. It will pave the way for more of these awesome omnibuses and tales to come out uh, in the near future. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about it or comments, please feel free to drop below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, up, up, and away.